what's going on guys welcome back to another video the stock market did indeed tap some brand new highs here we have nq in front of us which still continues on upward we had spy as well which was pretty much retesting those highs still trading sideways but like always i always continue to say trade with caution be careful there might be some profit taking tomorrow that's just my analysis and speculation based on last friday which we did also pull back so only swinging a little bit of tesla shares 10 shares we still have our coca-cola position and you can see pretty much flat on the day we were down a couple hundred bucks but we recovered that um buying the tesla dip so um if you guys can do me a little favor leave a like on the video and that's pretty much it let's get right into the video so still keep an eye on these vaccines i know biden promised 100 million vaccines in 100 days and the covid cases don't pr pretty much seem to be coming down but hopefully that changes in the next couple months looks like the market is pretty much brushing off higher potentially higher interest rates and um higher taxes um in the upcoming future but still we also have some earnings coming up we had intel which reported stronger than expected earnings also apple which completely is killing it and we'll compare apple and our trading plan with tesla all right now but apple um they got a price target upgrade from morgan stanley from 144 to 154 the stock is trading at 136 currently and they have earnings the same day as tesla literally next wednesday on the 27th and as you guys probably watched the other videos um, prior to this video you guys know our trading plan for tesla was this run up into er then dump after we have yet to see a run up which is pretty much disappointing but this is exactly what apple is doing it's running into its earnings and we're not seeing it with tesla we're seeing it with apple kind of miss, a missed opportunity there but apple comes completely killing it and it's carrying um i think it's leading it's going to be leading earnings next week probably one of the tesla and apple that day is going to be insane next wednesday without a doubt is going to be insane so another one that that's oversold that i think can has a, the potential to pull back possibly even a little bit more before we initiate a position is square sq it's, i know this is down three percent of the day as you can see technically speaking we can come down to 211 which is super close to the whole number 200 on um, the four hour I don't see a buy yet on the four hour where that previous resistance is at. Again, 210, 211 is where I possibly consider an entry. Also, it seems to me that their their um their price or the stock in general is tied to Bitcoin. And there's an analyst forecast that Bitcoin will account for 46% of course total revenue by the end of 2020. The end of 2022. Sorry about that. But I know I read that they bought like 50 million in Bitcoin last October. So and if you're not aware. Uh, when i posted this bitcoin was at 31,690. um right now i believe it's literally testing 30,000. so you can see on the four hour this is i'm very tempted this looks very tempting um you can see this chart pulling back from the 42,000 uh dollar market was literally broken past that previous resistance here so the next level down would be right around 28k so i don't know how much more panic there can be and on the last two days or so it's like 100 billion or so wiped out from the um, cryptocurrency market so keep that on watch i know i'm still gonna be patient i kind of want to time this one right and to me 210 seems like an appropriate price to jump in at of course we could hedge our position by just managing the the shares we buy by half of it and possibly buy even lower so another one that i'm playing that we played off the four hour is kale so coca-cola this one we're up not much but still according to our plan on the four hour we have this tiny in here of the ema we're waiting for a break above possibly to a move to right here 50 dollars. so that's my play there same similar situation same pattern as twitter which we did miss you can see here on the four hour ema it's come on down and this is initially where i like buying and this happened to be on the 15 minute it doesn't always break out and i'll show you guys on a different time frame on tesla on the 15 minute on why we bought 10 shares it did this one did break out and it hit right around 48 now it's pulling back and retesting that ema but ko we're waiting for that push up tesla on the other hand 15 minute mark where is it at right right around here so we have that ema right testing right around 847 which is literally where we bought 846 72 and it, it failed to break out and very disappointing to see it at 842 after hours but i'm it's just such a small position i don't think i'll even if it gaps down i'm not going to be down big but 
And most of you are probably wondering, Tesla has literally been flat. We have yet to break past that 860 resistance. We still have some support around 832. Like I said, if it does come on down a bit, right around 837, don't be surprised if it falls right back down to 820s. Worst case scenario, we dip down to 800 again. But in the grand scheme of things, like I said, Tesla has hit 880, what was the high? 884. And the fact that we're holding so close to these highs in the 850s, the 850 level, it's such a win. To me, it's such a technical win. It could have been pulled back all the way down to 750, 700. But the fact that we're so close to these highs, you know, it still gives me that hope that we can see that move um, into ERs next week. So those are the two st those are the stocks that I'm watching tomorrow, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Leave a comment with what your plays are and what you're expecting for tomorrow. Trade with caution. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.